All right, Cold Tower Freddy versus Good Survivors. This should be a fun game, is all I'm saying here. Using Discordance, uh, Brutal Strength, Make Your Choice, and Pop Goes the Weasel. There's the Discordance popping. That's going to tell us that more, uh, two or more survivors are on that generator. Um, useful because with Freddy, you get uh, a lot of power by pulling all the survivors into the dream world. And here we have a chance to pull uh, three or four of them in, so... Give that a go. Two of them went that way. Maybe they loop back into the hell tower. So that Kate cross past. There she is. And it just leaves um, one more person to pull into the dream world. And I think I might just leave it for now. And go for this Jake instead, because I want to start actually pressuring the survivors in some way. So there they are, getting woken up. I didn't expect him to count the pallet after getting a hit. This Jake might actually be the weakest person on their team by a huge margin. He has a life. Okay, yeah, he's definitely the weakest person on their team by a huge margin. I reckon he uh, drops his pallet instantly as well. Okay, yep. We found their weakest player. Um... <clears throat> Well, at least some of these survivors are good, but maybe not all of them. Kate got out of the dream world over there on a generator. There's two survivors on that generator up there, and they popped it. Probably a toolbox, hard to say. I'm going to go to this generator that the Kate was on, even though she regressed a little bit by failing the skill check. We're going to pull into the dream world as well. Hopefully, she goes to the rescue. Oh, she's actually fully regressed this generator. Let me just pull this Meg into the dream world as well. And watching for Kate. Is she going for the rescue? No, at the moment. Can we get this fang? Yep, everyone's in the dream world. This is great. Uh, we're using Make Your Choice so that we can insta down the survivor who hook rescues. That's going to be this Kate here heading towards the hook and hopefully getting it before she wakes up, but maybe not. Nope. Yep, we did. Lovely. They didn't wake each other up. Jake, please. Let me pull you into the dream world. Need to pull Jake into the dream world so that we uh, have a bit of pressure here. You drop the pallet immediately. We've got another... 35 seconds left on this make your choice. She didn't run into the pallet. I thought she may due to the fact that she seems a little bit weak. And she is actually just a little bit weak, so that's fine. All the survivors still in the dream world getting uh, action speed uh, debuffs by being in the dream world. But they are stacking up on a generator right now, which is fine. They just popped both of them out of the dream world. Uh, I know two of these survivors are good. The uh, Feng and the Meg are good. The other two, I guess, aren't. <laughs> and that's what we're finding out. They all just got out of the dream world, but they did so by failing skill checks on a generator. And I've got Pop Goes the Weasel, so I'm going to rush over there and regress this generator. Make sure that it doesn't have any progress on it. And it doesn't. There's Jake. I potentially could have checked the hill gen to see if uh, it had progress instead. There's Fang. It doesn't have progress. There's Jake. We just need to find Meg. We might be going for the rescue. We did. Okay, cool. She has very little pallets to work with here, but she does have a whole five seconds to get away from me. Once this timer starts. Alright, really good use of make your choice there. All the survivors failed skill checks again to get out of the dream world, but that's fine. We're going to pop this Meg on the basement hook. And just continue cycling it. You can see Discordance showing us where the survivors are. Two on that gen over there. We need to get over there and pop it as quickly as possible. One of them has a toolbox with two survivors working it. That's about a 50 second timer with the toolbox added onto it. Probably gets it down to around 40 seconds on that gen with two team uh, players. So it is a rush to get over there and stop them from popping this generator. The thing immediately ran away. So did the Jake. We got here about 80% of its progress bar. Good to go. There's the pop. Getting some good progress here on regressing the generators. There's Jake pulled in. Bang is either here. There she is. Get her in as well. Let's get this Jake onto his second hook stage. Because he was a bit of a forehead survivor. So I feel like I can chase him and get him, get him on it too, pretty quickly. Two survivors over here on this generator. One is Meg. One is Kate. Both injured? No, just one. Kate's injured. She has dead hard. Incredible. No one saw that coming. All right, we're going to fake this out. One, two, three. Come to me. Nice little trick there. Nice, 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 nice. 
Pop him on a hook. Go kick the gen that Kate was working on. How are you doing near gen? Pull these two into the dream lock. That was a relatively good play. Oh, yeah, she, she went to me instead. I thought she went to uh, the, the, the Meg. <clears throat> this Jake is uh, my favorite player in the game. He's jumping into a locker whilst awake. <laughs> whilst asleep, even. Wait, he got woken up. How did he get woken up? Oh, for some reason he's not showing in the Dream World, even though he is. I'm really confused. Why is he not showing in the Dream World? Borrowed time? Makes them not show in the dream world. Interesting. Today I learnt. Bit of a weird bug. Alright, Jake's out of the game. Now we need to get the other three into the game, uh, to the dream world as quickly as possible. They're probably going to go over to this gen to stop it from regressing. We're going to get another good kick on it. And we're going to get to pull multiple survivors into the dream world. Kate, still here. Jesus Christ. You might call this tunneling. I'm calling this... Uh, what's the word? Natural selection. Survival of the fittest. These guys are doing literally zero. Zero to try and escape me. Uh, and stop me from being able to hook them. And... I mean, it's punishing them. And I'm punishing them in, uh, for it. That gen's not being worked on. I have to assume that uh, Feng is over here working this gen. It is being worked. I've got Pop as well. There's Feng. Get yeah, Pop. Oh, there's a Weasel on it. Probably has balanced landing. I'm going to run straight into the cold tower. This is a really strong loop, and a lot of survivors who experience know how strong it is, so they just kind of hover around this area of the map. She threw that pallet really early. She has balanced landing as well. That gen just got popped. Looking at my clock, we've got a minute 20 on my stream timer. Just using that for a little bit of information here, so that I can know how worried I need to be about this chase lasting too long. In fact, honestly speaking, I could just go find Meg and pull her into the dream world and that would be a much smarter move. So I'm going to ditch what I'm doing right now, go find Meg, pull her into the dream world. Is she at this gen here? There's a pallet. I might actually just get rid of this pallet whilst I'm here. This thing is hilarious. Alright, let's go find Meg. See, we can see exactly where Me uh, Feng is this whole time. Meg's over here. Or was over here. Hello. That was a fairly easy bait. No pallets over here, so this Meg goes down. She does have d dead hard from what I've tell seen of this Meg before. She might make it to the window with a dead hard. Or not. And it feels good to play a good game of old Freddy before the uh, the new Freddy comes out. This is like the last Freddy you're going to see from me as well. Definitely aided by some of these survivors. When does he go live? Apparently he goes live tomorrow. The scratch marks in the coal tower. We could have already vaulted the window and be getting the unhook. We might just be sitting up there. Why can't I pull it in? Yeah. There's balance landing, remember. With it, she can use, uh, run over and get the meg off the hook if she wishes. What we're going to do here is grab 
make it to the dream world. Just like that. One, two, three, four. There we go. And she jumped straight into a locker. The pallet here. Freddy's definitely a weak killer in his current stage. He can't contest anything, which is what makes him certainly weak, but uh, he can be all right. But here we're going to uh, slug because uh, this Meg usually uses D-Strike and I don't want to uh, I don't want to lose any pressure by picking her up and letting her D-Strike me currently. So we'll just chase this uh, thing. Almost got the back of her head. He has D-Strike as well. I mean, so now I've got two survivors with D-Strike playing a game of cat kind of mouse. <laughs> it would be really dumb for me to pick either of them up, wouldn't it? Was that a fun game? I liked that game. You liked that game as well, didn't you? Yeah, look at the moonwalk. Oh, that's pretty cute. Very cute. See, you were much better than the other two survivors. I'll give that to you, Fang and Meg. The other two survivors, a little bit forehead, but hey, you, you can you can moonwalk as a slug. That's impressive. Ready to go? I actually didn't get a timer on her. As soon as the hatch spawns, I reckon she'll be done. If the other Mega's done, then she's done, right? I think, um... This whole, like... Absolute information when all survivors are in the dream world thing is what makes Freddy really unique and enjoyable. But, uh... I can't wait to play the new reworked stuff. We'll get some uh, new re reworked killer gameplay as well up on the channel um, for, for Freddy when he comes out as well. But that's a pretty fun game. And it's a good way to, to see Freddy off, you know. See him see him off before the, uh, the new Freddy rework comes through.